Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines. From piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread. Perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hello, my name is Mary Fonz and you are watching Quilty, the show where we teach you how to make quilts. From 2010 until now, right now it's 2015, we have been bringing you one show a week, uh, wonderful instruction on how to make patchwork, uh, information about how to succeed in a quilting class. Uh, we teach you about rulers, we teach you about fabric, we teach you all about inspiration for your quilts, and the videos are not going anywhere. They are going to continue, and quilty shows are going to like, I mean, it's going to be, it's like the bright future, bright future for Quilty. But I am going to be moving on as host. Um, I'm going to be pursuing some other projects and doing different things. And it's very hard for me to leave because I love this show so much. And um, we do a series on, <clears throat> we do a series on Quilty called This Is My Quilt. And from the start, I wanted to do this sub-series because um, it's, all, it's all fine and good to talk about how to make these things. But what about why? Why do we make quilts? We make quilts because we love people. I don't think there's probably been a quilt made in history that wasn't made because, out of love. Either you make a quilt because you love someone and you want to give them a quilt, or you make a quilt because you love yourself, or you're trying to love yourself and you're doing something for yourself that's creative, that's rewarding that teaches you things. So this is why we do this. And so on the This Is My Quilt episodes, we've had dozens of people over the past five years come in, we hang their quilt behind them, and they would talk to me and I would interview them about, about their quilt. Uh, and tell, then to tell me the story behind it. So for my last episode as host, Ha, huh, I thought I would bring in a quilt of mine. So this is my quilt. <laughs> this is my latest quilt. And um, we're gonna do a demo on this quilt uh, in this season of quilty how to make this block sorry and I didn't want to hang it up on the wall behind me because um, it's not finished and I thought I hope it looks okay so I'm just gonna show you here uh, on the table and we'll get some some close-ups the reason I wanted to bring this particular one in is because it isn't finished I'm, I'm quilting it right now and it's a log cabin called Washington because right now I live in Washington DC and um, I'm, I'm quilting it on my domestic machine and you know what it's the first time I've ever done that. I know, you might be crazy, you might think it's crazy, but I usually quilt my quilts on my tiara, or I have them long-armed, but I'm quilting this full-size quilt on my domestic machine, and I'm having a blast. And I am not finished with it yet. There are mistakes in it. <laughs> there are, you know, I'm stitching in the ditch, I'm doing a grid, a free motion grid. You might be able to see it. Uh, and, you know, there's threads all over the place, and I'm, obviously I haven't trimmed it down. I'm not finished with this quilt yet. But I want to tell you that I love making quilts. Part of the reason is because it's meditative. Part of the reason is because it, um, it's, it signifies or it, it uh, represents a time in my life. You know, when you make a quilt, um, when you're living in an apartment with your fiance, and then you get married, you'll always look at that quilt that you made when you were with your fiance, before you were married in that little apartment, before you bought your house. You make a quilt for your first baby. You make a quilt for your, your friend's first baby. That's always the quilt you made when they had a baby. So, you know, this quilt is going to always represent the time that I moved to Washington, D.C. <laughs> uh, with crazy circumstances. You know, this is, I, I made this quilt when I didn't know anybody, you know, in the city. So I would go home and I would sew patchwork. And so the quilts that we make are important to our lives. I always do a pieced back. So I'll kind of flip this around. I'm trying to make this episode <clears throat> A, not totally lame, and B, also instructional for you. Um, I always piece a back, especially, oh God, don't look at that, that's really bad. <laughs> I had a big thread goober there. So, but I usually, I usually piece backs together, partly because I make big quilts, and when you make big quilts, 
you know, you don't have just a piece of fabric that's going to work for the back. You have to piece it together. And so I take big prints that I wouldn't normally use uh, in my top, and I make them shine. I let them shine on the back. Like cutting up this black fabric, since it's a kind of a plaid, it would be kind of weird in a if you made a small block out of it with the stripes going everywhere. So I put it on the back. Um, so as I transition away from Quilty, I guess I will just tell you some parting advice. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, when you find someone in a quilt class or in out in the world who looks at you funny because you don't know something or things that you, you know, they, they tut, tut tut or they look at you, you know, like you are stupid because you don't know how to do something. And there are those people in guilds or something. I know nobody watching would ever do that. But if you find that you're not welcome at a uh, class or something like that, then you just ignore those people. You have to learn. You have to start somewhere. So if you're a beginner, you just stay, stay focused, stay dedicated. Don't let the haters hate. Haters are going to hate. Taylor Swift tells us that you got to shake it off and uh, never stop learning. And don't think that a beginner who's newer than you can't teach you something. So the person at their first day in a quilt class can teach you something just like somebody who's been quilting for 25, 35, 50 years. They can teach you something too. It has been an honor to be the host of this show and good luck with all your quilts. Bye. Quilt Day is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Arafil, Arafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, Cottons that feel like silk. OmniGrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.